And we're here. No breaks for me. We're on part three. to get all the items up there. Oh, of course I know the hitbox when he's on ground. Yeah, I'm really sorry I was down like that. That was pretty lame. Oh, I'm definitely dropping two life jets for that. I just cannot be See, whenever he does that attack, you just go behind him. And I don't know how I got hit there. I really don't understand. All the orbs come out in front of them and they try and go around, but they can't reach me. I guess one got behind him, like one teeny little one, like I don't even know. That, that is just so annoying. That is unbelievably annoying. And he was one shot too and I was one shot, it's like give me a fucking break. first real challenge. My stamina does not regenerate fast enough for this fucking nonsense. It just does not regenerate fast enough. Alright, I refuse to be hollow, so let's get that humanity back. Yes, look at the sky, like a puppet. Come here, you bitch. Yeah, that's right, take it like a man. Oh, you want more, huh? Have a seat, bitch. Alright, the rest of you I can I can handle. Wow, nice dodge there. A 
many pharaohs of locks or lock stones of pharaohs do I have? Where are they? 83? Yeah, that'll be enough. I definitely plan to use every single one in the game. Just to show you guys what every single one does. I love how they give you a slab, like, so early in the game. It's kind of nonsensical, to be honest. I know this one's a trap. Three chunks. Excuse me. Open the door. enough. What? You got some reach on that halberd there, buddy. You got some reach on that. What's up, bitch? You don't fool me. You see, what I like about this game is that he's obviously patches, but the way they play it off is so much more clever and actually good writing. Because even down to the very end, you still don't know who to trust between him and Creighton. But for me, it's obviously this guy for one of two reasons. He, he tries too hard to play the cool guy. And uh, when you play through the game appropriately, uh, if you choose Peyton's side and you kill Creighton, the stuff that Peyton gives you, you can already get in the game through other means. But the stuff that Creighton gives you, you cannot get in the game through other means. So you have to let Creighton win if you want a thorough playthrough. In other words, you have to kill this guy. And I don't trust him. I always knew that he was the patch of this game. But they did a good job, though. Because you can never really prove it. You kind of have to go off of instinct in this game. They they wrote it very well. Hello there. Well, we what's up, bitch? Uh, not the rest. Uh. Yep. Yep. Leave this one to me. I'm better than you. Bring it on! believe how weak they made this Vihander in this game. So I just picked up, I don't know if you guys just saw, but I picked up Aromatic Ooze, which is a buff for your weapon. It's a base buff of magic. And this rating says visions of beating to a pulp. So my guess is that they want me to beat someone up who uses that buff. So I don't know. That's fine. I wonder what the story is behind this fence. Maybe that's what they put the lizards in. A lizard would fit in there, barely. Well, I see you've managed to escape. Well, I see you managed to escape. I hope be Oh, it allows on with luck. Yeah, and that's not going to be useful to me. Mm. 
Really? <laughs> look at all look at that air was floating in the air. Look at that shit. Look at your oh my god. Look at that arrow floating in the fucking air, dude. That shit drives me insane. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I thought that I was going to survive that hit. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> okay, that was a headshot. Look at that arrow just... Oh, from software. Hey, fuck. Hey. Alright, you're not... That's not gonna happen again, buddy. How dare you survive with, like, one health? How fucking dare you? Hi-ya! We'll get to that tree later, won't we, guys? Hey, look at that shadow there. They do drop uh, outfit items very fre frequently in this game. Dark Souls 3, though? Oh, man, the, the drop rate for fucking... clothing items was ridiculously low. Oh, no, no explosion, huh? There it is. See, why it didn't explode the first time? I wonder. I'm kind of curious, like, honestly. I already know that door's locked. We'll get to that later. Oh no, I timed it incorrectly. Such an embarrassment.
And this shall be the halberd. You know what, maybe I should use a halberd. The Mastodon Halberd. 650 damage on a Halberd. This Halberd... This Halberd that does 650 damage... That attacks fast like this... Does more damage... Than, uh... This Vihander. That swings slowly. 570. That is such a fucking big difference... That is a gigantic difference, actually. Let's go ahead and light this torchy torchy. Pick up this ten fire arrows. Open the door. get to that other side. Oh, I need a key. Yeah. And down we go. Alright. Here, squirt. So, uh, remember that door... In the, uh, in the caves with all the lizards that I said are impossible. This is that door that's locked. Right here. So it really doesn't matter to open it, because we're already here. There's really no benefit to open the door. I don't know why they put that there. I don't even know how to open the door. <laughs> and there's no key in this entire area that gives you access. Which is pointless, because this is the first boss fight. It's an easy boss fight. So to ever... The ability to gain early access to open that door is just pointless. There's just no reason for it. Absolutely no reason. Alright. Let me get... Let me get my stabbing tool. Put on the old... Good old Leo ring. And we're gonna get started. Oh yeah. I was not expecting him to stomp that much. I thought that that one stomp was, that's like the only stomp he was gonna do. I didn't know he was going to combo. And you know what? I have a sneaking suspicion that I can actually open the door from the other side and I just never bothered to try. So I'm just gonna double check and make sure. But those things are in the way. Yeah, that is not worth it to try. Forget it. Now, just so you know that just to uh, confirm that I am in the Covenant of Champion, which which makes the game harder. There's there's like two summon signs right here, and they're not there, so that's how you know it's working. I just totally dodge out like a fucking boss. Combo. Oh. 
Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm, I'm surprised that didn't fucking hit me. Moving on, and no, the soldier key does not open this door. It opens, I think, like three doors in this game, as a matter of fact. Pointless. Yep, I agree. Oh shit. They go right for me, man, at first sight. Holy shit. No! Oh my... Yo, they do so much damage! Oh! Oh my god. He blocked my hit there at the end too. Y'all saw that? He blocked my hit. Try a slightly different approach. We're, we're going to give a little tease. That's nice. That's very classic Dark Souls right there. Wombo combo. Are you serious? He he dodge rolled that shit, bro. Oh my god! I attack one, the other one attacks. Yo, man, these people are ruthless. Oh, is that past the line of their aggression? Yeah, you better come back. They were literally about to disappear, too.
How dare you dodge me? Quit being a smart computer. Yeah, that's right. And now you're done too, buddy. Holy shit. See, that's another thing I can really respect about this game. The uh, NPCs in Dark Souls 1 and 3 were fucking stupid. But in this game, they, they're actually a little bit more patient. They, they'll actually dodge your attacks. They'll, they'll wait for you sometimes, and that's smart. Makes it much more challenging, and I respect that. And you saw how much they were giving me a hard time. They have gigantic health pools. And they do so much damage. Oh, hello. Yeah, I don't got the symbol of the king just yet, you know what I'm saying, bruh? That's the second time I've used this key now. What's up, skeleton? Nice, nice thing to know about skeletons that they are weak to strike. Swinging through with my mace like a fucking wha bam, wha bam, wha bam. None of them stops me. Oh, we're almost at the we're at the 30 minute mark. Almost, anyways. Yeah, this area would probably take a good, you know, 10 minutes to get through. Wait, let's look at how that arrow just. See, if I shot an arrow at that angle, it would, it would hit the fucking... It would hit the wall in midair. Look here, I'll, I'll show you right now. Look, watch this shit. Watch it. Same angle. No. Oh, really? Okay, that's, that's, that's better. No, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Alright, um... Alright, that was part three, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for part four.